Hey guys, it's time to connect up JMRI with the uh, ESU cab controller on my layout. And I've had a couple of questions about doing that. And uh, so I kind of just step you through how I did it. And uh, hopefully you can do the same thing. So you can see I've got my uh, computer set up over here. I've already got that JMRI up and running so I could easily show you uh, all of the uh, spots you gotta, gotta go into and everything. I have my controller over here and you could probably hear some of the locomotives over there because I've got uh, I've got uh, got the layout already powered on but let's go over there now this might be a little bright because I kind of changed my camera settings to uh, show you the computer screen there but I've got the layout here I've got uh, my trusty SD40 right here and I've got uh, right underneath the flag there, I've got the uh, ESU cab controller, uh, command station, whatever it's called there. But uh, um, the cab controller consists of the remote that I showed you, a power brick and that little guy sitting on the shelf right there. So um, basically what that guy is, is he's just a Wi-Fi router, just like uh, any other Wi-Fi router that you have in your house that you connect up to, right? There's a there's a SID or a name for the Wi-Fi network. And uh, hey, hey, Benjamin, how you doing? Everybody wants to say hello. Baby. Okay, sorry, got distracted there. Anyway, <laughs> sorry for the swinging too. But in effect, that little guy is just a Wi-Fi router and it also provides power out to the layout. That's it. So connecting to it is just like connecting to any Wi-Fi router. So on my computer over here, um, you can see my Wi-Fi networks right here. And uh, you can see that what I've done is the computer has located the, uh, the ESU Wi-Fi, which is what it's called right there. Now, when, I, when you connect up to it for the first time, uh, you have to put in the password, right? Because uh, every one of the Wi-Fi networks has its own password. Well, unfortunately, it's a bit of a pain in the butt, but uh, after doing a little bit of research in the past, here is the password. That's like the default password, at least that I've seen uh, in different forums. And it's basically just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's the password. Some people in the forums, if you do uh, do a search for, uh, you know, on this subject there, they say it uh, only goes up to eight. Mine goes up to nine, right? Um, and you can see that the, the SID right there is a U, or sorry, ESU Wi-Fi. And uh, I also documented the IP address because you're going to need that when you make a connection in JMRI. Now that should be the default uh, email, or email, IP address, 192.168.65.1, okay? Um, the way you find that is you go onto your little controller right here. Hit the three little dots right there, go into settings, and right at the top it shows you the command station. That's the box that's uh, sitting on top of the shelf over there, and there's the IP address, so you can double check yours. All right, so I'm just going to exit out of that, and again, I've powered on the track over here using the controller, but I believe you can also do that with the uh, JMR. I throttle that I've got right there but step one connect your computer to the uh, the ESU Wi-Fi and you can see it'll say no internet secured that means it's connected and obviously you're not getting any internet service when you're connected to that Wi-Fi next up you're gonna start panel pro and you are gonna go to uh, I believe it is edit Preferences and I've already got it opened up over here. So let me go ahead and bring that up Or maybe I don't let's see. Let's go ahead and do it again edit Preferences all right, and this is what you'll get and again. Hopefully it's not uh, too uh, Too washed out but very top on the left hand side you're gonna see connections You're gonna select connections and you're gonna have to make a new connection now what I've done is I've gone and I've selected, you got a whole list of stuff right here. You're gonna select ESU, right? And then for the system configuration, uh, you're gonna select this ECOS, whatever, ECOS is via network, right? 
and um, I believe when you first select it, um, I believe it asks you for the IP address. Yeah, you can see right here, um, it's telling me for the IP address host name. Uh, now, I'm not going to save this, but I put that IP address right there. And then I left the rest uh, sort of default. So the connection prefix U and the connection type, that's already in there. But you put the IP address right there. So hopefully, I'm not going to save this because... Yeah, I'm going to say no, because I've already got it set up. And then, it gets a little funky here. You have to go into Tools, Throttles, and you do a new throttle. And then, within the new throttle, I won't go into it here because I've already done it, but basically you just uh, you select uh, a locomotive and you put in the DCC address right here and that's uh, that's our little SD40 right there so if I hit uh, F1 you should be able to hear the bell back there and uh, I can go ahead and start it up so I just kind of advance the throttle here a little bit it works with my uh, my roller and You can see that loud guy is uh, starting up right there. So let's jump back here, uh, just for the heck of it. I'm gonna silence him, and you can see that uh, my silence, or, or I'm gonna lower the volume on him, is uh, the F9 function right there. And instead of using that, I'm gonna come over here, hit F9, and you can kind of hear him, hopefully in the background, he's uh, quieted down a little bit, but uh, and then you can go in here, you can edit all these things, you can change the name of the bell by right-clicking, selecting properties, and you can just call it, uh, Bell. Hit apply, and then close, and there you go. Now it says Bell. And uh, that's pretty much it, so that's as far as I've gotten. Um, like I said, I can go ahead and control my throttle up here. And I'm just doing it with, uh, with my mouse. And if we swing back over here, you can see he's running on the railroad. So, and that's a lot of swinging back and forth. Sorry about that, guys. But uh, I, I could have done a screen um, capture kind of thing, but I figured this was easier because I had to show the... Uh, the actual throttle itself. Now what's interesting is I just noticed this now uh, on this locomotive when I'm connected it actually says display only on here so I'm not sure well at least the functions still work and I'm throttling up so it still does work but I can control it with either this or the uh, the JMRI throttle right there. Now also, um, I do have my cell phone, right? Now I haven't done this yet, but uh, on my cell phone, I have um, a couple of different throttles that you could use. Let me go ahead and bring one up. I have like engine driver, and then the other one here is this ECOS controller. So I'm gonna go ahead and start that one up. And uh, you got to kind of go through this setup here to uh, actually connect up. I'm not sure if you've got to change the. Uh, let me put this down. I think what you got to do is you're going to actually have to change the network settings here and probably the Wi Fi connection on your phone. So you're going to have to go into the phone, go into your Wi Fi, and just like we did on the computer connect this up to the ESU Wi-Fi with, uh, with the proper password right there. And you'll be able to use um, this throttle here along with, uh, along with the other one there, the uh, engine driver right there, which you can download from uh, you know, your app store. I'm obviously running on Android here, so Anyway, I hope that uh, I hope that kind of helped you out. If uh, if you have any more questions on this, uh, like I said, this is only the first time I'm doing this, so I'm kind of.
kind of learning it as I go here myself too, right? Here's our horn, with their short horn. So uh, anyway, put any questions you have, uh, you know, on the uh, on the comments here for the video, and uh, I'll see if we can uh, work through it together. If you're uh, getting stuck or something like that. Anyway, guys, hope that was uh, somewhat informative. Sorry for the shaky camera and all that stuff, but uh, hopefully it helped uh, helped a couple of the uh, viewers out there that had questions on doing that.